in the parched desolation of the arid landscape, a diverse array of organisms make it their home, spanning a wide spectrum of beings that will not pose a threat and sometimes even allow you to get near them without attacking. To those that already lost the reasoning. During your stay in this place, you'll encounter astonishing creatures, and I'm here to clarify their behavior and lifestyles within their native environment. This creature will not search for any sustenance. Their only goal is to cause a nuisance to those around it. And you can sometimes spot this in herds trying to compete for which one of them is the loudest and most annoying. An easy and effective countermeasure when facing one is to click M and press mute next to the de desired beast. These creatures will also usually come from the eastern parts of the globe and will have a hard time communicating with the others around it. These specimens live by simple rules. They will not attack unless provoked. And they also have tendency to commit charitable actions, like giving away loot. They will usually not progress too far due to their ways of living and have a hard time providing for their group, since they will usually end up as prey to other creatures. You can recognize them by their slow movements and usually lack of cognitive functions. And if you get close to them and manage to convey a message of needing supplies, they will, most of the time, provide it to you. Their appearance also often consists of basic civilian and police clothing, sometimes with some military apparel sprinkled here and there. Its nests will also usually be quite large and made out of weak materials, so invading other territory is quite easy, but is usually not worth it. This genus of players is the widest out of all the previously mentioned. Branching out into multiple species, some of them aggressive and some harmless and even ones that only care about their looks. I will start this lift off with the easiest one to spot and the least harmful one so far, the role player cub. It will usually focus solely on satisfying its own needs instead of long term survival and it may be found in small groups. This creature's main goal is to acquire some basic tools and armor, to later roam the streets and act like a fag, to hold other players up with the intent to extort resources out of them, rarely doing any damage. At this point our little friends become what is known as juvenile roleplayer. It will by this point try to roleplay as perhaps the press, maybe the police, and try to kidnap other creatures. Or in the most extreme cases cited, it will use long range rifles to sit on a rooftop or in a window on an elevated position to roleplay as widely known sharpshooters. By this stage, this being will already have some quests completed to get its props easier and will actively work towards getting enough resources to be able to evolve into its final stage. This is the most interesting stage and the last of the main line of roleplayers. It will have the ability to buy the technicals and have some form of access to high-end gear to act like highly trained special forces. In most cases, the group of roleplayers will take the technical and terrorize the roads. From distance, the car will look like a normal pickup, so many may be fooled and approach it in hopes of obtaining some resources. But the roleplayers are prepared and will fire a few warning shots and try to get their prey to surrender then they will be able to pull a Syrian classic. Now I believe I should talk about the Drip Lords. Drip Lords are usually well situated beings and their main goal is to look great. Some may care about how it affects their ability to hunt while others don't mind it and they are prepared for the chance that when someone says is Drip or Drown, they will be floating. They may also use some of the very rare and limited golden weapons just to assert their dominance over the lower classes that they encounter. Now with this, I will direct your attention to the red subscribe button. You may also comment or vote in the poll that will be soon made which map I should do next, and also you can join the Discord. Have a nice day.